Hey team, Mr. Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing great. Got a great video for you today with the Druid, and it kind of displays the, you know, the capabilities of it, how to play it, uh, as the title of the video is, and also, uh, you know, trying to carry a team. Even four kills to maybe even almost a Kraken can help the team out. And I, I'll explain why I have some thoughts about this later in the video and uh, we'll talk to it later. But anyways, we want to say thank you again for all those who supported the channel. I appreciate all those that have uh, really gave some feedback, give comments, likes, dislikes, anything that can help support the channel. We're on our way to our next goal of 500 subscribers and we're almost there. It's going pretty quickly and we appreciate again all those that are taking part and having fun shooting ships, sailing ships, and having a blast learning from us. So, what is the Druid? The Druid is what you're seeing right now. It's a miniature Minitar or Minitar uh, that um, that basically spits out and spews nice AP shells that you see are flying at good speed, good velocity, good arcs. And I just like it. I like this gameplay style so much that it's, it's really uh, grown on me, the Druid as well as the Vampire. Funny that those two ships are in a research bureau, which tells me that they are hidden because it's they are almost very, very powerful. They provide kind of a far extreme where they have really, really extreme weaknesses, but also really extreme pros and strengths. And I believe they do that just to give you some kind of different play style in the game. And it gives you something to shoot for to spend money, I guess. Um, but anyways, I digress. How do I play the Druid? Now, you're seeing the first instances of how to approach a cap. Uh, it is a good capper. It's a good DD hunter, but you got to play it with, uh, you know, a kind of, uh, I like to call, kitten gloves. Because you notice I'm not rushing in trying to kill myself. I'm uh, approaching it at quarter speed. And I, someone had asked me, well, how do you play this thing? Because I keep dying so fast. Well, you're doing what I'm doing right here right now. Because right now, first you got to analyze the battlefield and make it an appropriate decision. So I know there's a small one in the smoke, so I have to be in smoke so nobody sees me. I gotta know where the radars are at because if I'm in smoke and radar pops me, I'm done. I approach the cap at a quarter speed. You notice right now I'm not rushing in and out of the smoke or in being uh, observed because look, you have more than two or three ships shooting at you. It cannot sustain damage. This is not a, a Petro in a sense, but it does play like a Petro style where you nose in. So you see I'm getting shot up by the small lens. Now, it, being a slim profile provides me the capability of defense of not taking all 16 shells of that small lens right there, see? And now I have an opportunity to shoot at him because my shells do Citadel light cruisers pretty well and they do a significant amount of damage. Now, what I need to do is first, really, uh, again, we've already capped, we don't need to rush, but first I have to go in and just spot for the team since you know, I want a few destroyers here that uh, spot that is a role that the destroyer plays but also provide some kind of gun power and I'm not going to rush in uh, like like I said at full speed but more quarter speed so you notice I'm backing in backing out at this uh, this um, corner and that's the first thing I go for for Charlie Cap for this map I always go for the corners and kind of just use terrain to provide some kind of cover uh, that, that allows me to back up if I'm in trouble. Now, see, what I'm doing here is just no, sticking my nose out, getting the front two forward-facing guns out, analyzing, see, what can I do? If I see I'm getting shot at, like the tick identifier shows, like, hey, exclamation point, I'm getting shot at, pop smoke, and retreat and back out. And you'll do this numerous times. Now, the cool thing about this is uh, there are other ships in the area that I know that are there that will spot for me. So if a battleship does shoot or a cruiser shoots that is spotted, then it allows me to fire. And now the other aspect is I'm in smoke. I like big battleship shooting because their concealment goes in and out, in and out every time they shoot. And if they're within my smoke range, I can definitely spot them as well. So right now, ooh, that's actually a bad thing. We have a Summers in the back of our uh, cap here. So either the Petro or the Conda has to go kill it or we're pretty much flanked. Uh, but I'm gonna rely on them and the Club Air is going out. So I'm gonna kinda go ahead and hold this corner. Now you notice I'm holding the corner, nobody's rushing to see, which is a good thing. That gives us more time to wither away a lot of these big ships. Again, I'm using cover. So I'm just shooting through the gap there. Again, this is a great play style for the Druid hiding behind cover, using cover, or using a corner to allow the four two-facing guns to shoot. And look, I'm gonna, I'm, even though it's light damage, it's still annoying damage. It is something that causes battleships to run away. They don't like it. It's, you know, AP damage is not really a fun damage to get because it's not really, uh, I would say something you can really hit damage con and stop a fire. You know, you, just, you can't hit a button and stop AP damage. 
So really, you, you're going to have to sit here and go, okay, we're going to have to get away, walk away. This druid is literally going to wither us down with a 1.5 second reload-ish. And here's another an, an example of broadside Smolensk. So again, we he's getting pissed off because, you know, we're not budging. We're holding this flank by ourselves here. And we're going to just see if we can Citadel him because, man, this thing does provide Citadels really well. Open fire and the, the a improved AP uh, angles for the uh, Druid are really uh, effective as well. Look at that. We took a lot of damage. 20 hundred damage is something that we don't want to hit. But the Druid has heals, so that provides us some forgiveness for making a mistake right there. Should have popped or smoked a little earlier because we did have somebody else spotting. And thank goodness Satsuma or whoever else, uh, I think it was Conde or Satsuma shot him and killed him. And now let's see if we can take on the Satsuma by ourselves. 2,300 damage right there, 2,100 damage. Again, these approved AP shell angles are awesome, as well as hitting the superstructure, 19 millimeters there also pays off as well. You notice we're getting a lot of ricochets or non-pins on the guns. Too much armor, cannot pin. So we're gonna go ahead and focus the broadside. So once he, I know he's gonna turn and go towards that gap. He's gonna show some broadside. We're gonna go back in there and we may actually go after him because it seems like our Kleber is going to follow us in. So this is a good thing. Druids and, and I mean, dr destroyers all together uh, work so much better as, as a team. And I've been trying to emphasize this so much that you need to work together as a team. I always try to start off a match, if I can, to hug another destroyer because two destroyers is better than one. So you can take on another destroyer, which most people like to go solo in a destroyer for some reason. Uh, so the odds of you winning a two-on-one -on -one destroyer battle is pretty high. So I'd rather take those chances. And then when you start moving in and attacking battleships as pairs or more, it, it, it really helps out because the, the battleship has no idea wh or wh has to make a decision who to shoot first. And that gives you also a good advantage because it, it mitigates the damage as well as gives you opportunities to do some crazy stuff like we're doing right here. So Kleber is going to probably do some torps, and I'm going to go in with guns. So let's see what happens here. Torps are out, and we are going to use our AP guns and shoot on the weakest part of his ship, which is the rear end. Look at that, 2,900 damage, 2,900 damage, and boom! We actually get the kill before the torpedoes. Bullets go faster than torps, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know that. <laughs> so I like that as well. Ooh, we have a nice Georgia here. Let's see if we can take him out. Shoot at the weakest part of his ship, which is the bow or the stern. That's 2,900 damage, 2,914, 22. And he is going, oh my god, my 30,000 HP is going down too fast for my heals to take over. So we're going to keep chasing him. And we're going to see if we can get as many juicy pins as we can on this. So we're going to speed up. And the thing I like about the shore is they speed, stop, start, stop, start really, really fast. My attention got caught to the Ruin, which I should have focused on the, Dru uh, the Georgia more. But he just looked like a juicy cruiser. Target now, he's gone. And Georgia's gone as well. But the Conda, way to go. Yeah, people are, uh, you know, in the comments are saying that AP is kind of insane. Yep. So we're using RDF and RPF here. To that arc right now, the radar, uh, to see where is, or not radar, but um, homing beacon, whatever you want to call it. It's telling me the closest guy right now is the Zao. And then I have a ruin that's about to go broadside that we shot at earlier. Now, the Zao looks like he's kind of trying to flank me or go in, but the clear bear is keeping him at bay. So let's say we got to make a decision. Make a decision, stick with it. I'm just gonna go and rush this rune and see if we can take him off the battlefield very quickly. Zao's not in any line of sight of me or shooting, so I'm gonna shoot the rune since he's line of sight with me first. And look at those nice pins. Now, I'm doing the best I can. We're almost losing here, and we're losing by points, losing by ships, so I gotta remove some people off the battlefield here. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Games just seem to be one-sided now, and that you're working really hard. And boom, look at that. And our consumable pops. Cunningham's great. Get an extra heal. It's almost a cut snev. I think it's a strong commander. Pretty awesome. But what I've been saying is, like, it seems like these games are just so one-sided. It's like you're working so hard to do so much work to get the game going in a direction. And it just seems like you can't just do anything. You can't do, seem to do anything to work out right here. Now, here we go. ZF6. We're going to just go ahead and then slow down. Again, stop, start, stop, start. You know, I, I don't want to rush a destroyer because they got torpedoes. So the tactic is slow in, nose in. Get the smoke ready in case you need it. Have the Hydro up, if able, and boom, RIP ZF6. And next target, moving on. Who's next? Annapolis, full broadside. Look at this AP damage on cruisers as well. They work really, really well, especially a 1.3 1 second reload. It, it, it's just devastating. And boom, fourth kill of the game. Can we keep this conga line going? 
And now we have a battleship. Azumo, not so much. Uh, we're going to rely on our Satsuma to help us out. But look, we did like literally four kills and three in the last minute or so. And bam, we're down. I mean, there's only so much you can do. And I'm saying that, man, it seems like today you are working so hard to get this game going and, and get it in a, move in the direction you can. And man, I, I just don't know what to say. I, I don't know what it is. Is it the matchmaking? Is it the meta? Let me know what you think down below that what's going on here. Is it just the... Uh, players are brand new are there too many premium ships in the game are people just throwing their ships out there and just throwing it out there just to throw it out there i don't know i mean it seems like a lot of these players are you know in clans and they're good or decent but maybe that's deceiving because you don't know who's playing i mean somebody could be labeled in a clan or uh, ranked or their rank whatever but somebody else could be playing and borrowing their account i don't know uh, it just seems that lately i've been either on a blowout or we are on the blowout and it really just seems that you're working super hard to get any kind of wins these days and uh, I'm, i'll be say i'll be honest I've, I've lost a lot more games than i've won and it just seems because and it's a team game i mean i can't say i have to win it by myself you can't it's a team game and team games are supposed to be utilized as a team effort to win games and again i don't know what's going on but let me know your thoughts below that's the top the type of play style of the druid you know slow uh, slow and easy uh nose in as well as uh using smoke for cover uh, with those front four facing guns and also the meta of the game the state of the game as what's going on what's happening hey you know what we try to carry the game we couldn't conda did well four kills there four kills we still can't win two guys doing majority of the kills still can't win but anyways hope you're doing well bill was at the beginning of the video and until then be safe and we'll see you guys next time cheers